I have a microphone that might just be for you. That microphone would happen to be this bad boy, the Sennheiser MKH-50. As many YouTube creators have probably stated on this platform, what makes this microphone absolutely amazing is its pickup pattern. And this is something that I don't put lightly. The microphone's pickup pattern is very forgiving. And here's the reason I say this. Let's say you're shooting a scene in a movie where there are three characters speaking. Well, the pickup pattern of the MKH-50 is so good that you'd be able to record all the dialogue as long as the talent is somewhat close to each other. This microphone is very forgiving and you'll record great audio no matter what. Not not only that, but its tonal response is quite impressive. This microphone serves very well for people who have a very broadcasty like tone to their voice, kind of like mine. So let's talk about why would someone want to get this microphone specifically? Well, it's almost the go-to microphone when recording any interior scene for a movie or short film or television series. Now let's say you're hired to shoot an interview. Someone sits in a chair and speaks for a good maybe hour and a half, two hours, and that's what you would consider a testimonial. And normally those type of videos are shot indoors. And I almost always use this microphone when hired to record audio on testimonials. And the reason for this is because of what I explained earlier its pickup pattern, its tonality response, it's a great microphone. This microphone can also be used for ADR work. If you don't know what ADR means, it stands for Automatic Dialogue Replacement. And ADR is used to substitute dialogue after the fact of its recording. And you can use the microphone for voiceover work, but I would highly suggest using a dynamic microphone, kind of like the Shure SM7B that I'm using right now. I wouldn't recommend this microphone for singing purposes per se, but if you happen to be a musician, this would be a great microphone for recording that. So the Sennheiser MKH-50 goes around $1,200 retail price, and that's not including taxes. But how I got this microphone is I bought it from a production sound mixer friend in the industry. They were charging under $1,000 for it and they were including some additional accessories that would help with making the microphone even better for recording. So I mean, how could I not say no to that? <laughs> so I didn't start out with the Sennheiser MKH-50. The first microphone I started out with in my audio kit was the Deity S-Mic 2 shotgun microphone. And I have a video on this channel talking more about it, which you should definitely check out. But that was my first microphone that I used for the first maybe five or 10 gigs that I got. And then eventually I earned enough money to invest into the Deity S-Mic 2S. Now, why this one? Well, because it was cheaper, more affordable, and I didn't really need the Sennheiser MKH-50 at the moment. I was just working my way up. So now let's talk about reasons of why you shouldn't have to get the Sennheiser microphone. For one, don't feel pressured to buy it just because it's an amazing microphone. Yes, having quality audio for any video you make is extremely important, but there are so many other affordable microphones out there that you can use to upgrade the quality of your videos just like that. Indie filmmakers and YouTube creators, for the most part, I can guarantee you are not using the MKH-50. They're either using basic shotgun microphones unless they're a tech channel and they review the higher end equipment. And I can definitely guarantee you that TikTok influencers are not using the Sennheiser MKH-50 for their videos. If anything, they're probably using the Hollyland Wireless, the DJI Wireless, maybe the Rode Wireless Go, or possibly the Deity Pocket Wireless. The only problem with those wireless systems is they all are 2.4 gigahertz, which I can explain more about that in another video. Another thing is when people watch a video, they're not thinking, oh my gosh, he used the Sennheiser MKH-50. No, they're thinking, oh, the audio. Sounds good. I can actually watch this thing. I guarantee you they aren't thinking about what type of microphone you're using to record the video. I mean, for example, you you could think I was using the MKH-50 right now, but I'm actually using the Shure SM7B. Another reason why you may not need to focus on getting this microphone immediately is if you don't record and mix audio as your profession. Me personally, I work as a production sound mixer in the film industry, so having the Sennheiser MKH-50 is very ideal for me considering I'm working with multiple clients. Using this kind of microphone ensures top quality when working with paid clients. Because at the end of the day, you get what you pay for. Now let's talk about reasons that you should buy the microphone. And the first reason is if you get this microphone, it is great for marketing your own work. Let's say you work as a videographer, a production sound mixer, or you have your own business in video production. If you have one of these microphones laying around in your kit, that's almost a promise that your audio is gonna sound great. However, you need to know how to use the microphone properly. 
investing into this microphone is a way to upgrade your kit. I went from the DDS Mic 2 shotgun microphone to the DDS Mic 2S, and then eventually worked my way up to the Sennheiser MKH50. I decided to just go for it. This microphone right here will also sweeten the sound of your audio quality, making your work sound a lot more professional. So I wouldn't make a video like this if I didn't demonstrate what the microphone sounded like, especially on my voice. You can understand now from the broadcast tonality that my voice sounds perfect for this type of microphone. It's currently about a hand length away and I'm holding it by a shock mount so that my hands don't accidentally make the microphone vibrate for whatever reason. But let's say I wanted to move the microphone around and its pickup pattern would do a great job of making sure that my voice was heard throughout this scene. Notice how as I move the microphone around me, the pickup pattern is still kind of there. You can definitely tell a difference when the microphone is not in front of me compared to right now, but you can still hear a nice broadcasty response. Now the microphone is up above my head and let's say we're doing an interview. So now I have it angled towards my lips over here too, maybe around here. And now the microphone is off screen and it's not even pointed towards my lips. I'm speaking to you, but the microphone is pointing over my shoulder. But based on where the microphone is pointing at, can you still hear some clear audio that is present to your ears? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why a microphone like this is super important to have in your audio kit. So here are some final thoughts to think about whether you choose to get this microphone or not. If you do invest into the Sennheiser MKH50, please, for the love of God, take care of it. This microphone now is your possession. It is part of your kit. It is a very, very strong and powerful microphone and you wanna treat it with respect. When you're done with it, don't throw it into a corner and allow it to collect dust. That's just being rude to your own equipment. I'll also admit that since I bought this microphone a couple years ago, it has served me greatly for every shoot that I've been working on. And now depending on the location, I'll either choose to use the DDS Mic 2 or the Sennheiser MKH50. Every now and then I choose the Deity S Mic 2S for very specific reasons, which if you're interested in learning about why I choose specific microphones at specific times, definitely let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to make a video about that. If you'd like me to compare the Sennheiser MKH50 to any other microphone, please comment down below. And if you'd like to check out another impressive microphone, then I encourage you to click on this video right here. This is an older video I created on the Sheps microphone, which a buddy of mine let me borrow for, to make this video. But I tell you, that microphone is just something else. It is so magical. You can find links to microphones and other equipment down below, but I look forward to seeing you in that video.